Today, we will see some misconceptions related to the standard form of numbers. Misconception 1. In the class, the teacher asks the students to write the number 0. 0.000356 in standard form. Meena wrote the number as 356 into 10 to the power of minus 6 in standard form. Raj wrote the number as 3.56 into 10 to the power of minus 4 in standard form and Rohit wrote the number as 3.56 into 10 to the power of 4 in standard form. Find out who wrote the number correctly in standard form. Some children are not able to understand the difference between the exponential form and the standard form of a number. They think that the exponential form of a number is the standard form. Like, we can write the given number in different ways like this. They can see that Meena's and Raj's answers are amongst these, so they think that option 3 is the correct answer. Since not every exponential form is the standard form, option 3 is an incorrect answer. Some children know that if the standard form of a number which is less than 1 is to be obtained, then the decimal point is to be moved to the right, so that the number can be written in the form of m into 10 to the power of p, where m is greater than or equal to 1 and lesser than 10, and p is an integer. For example, here Raj has moved the decimal point four places to the right and to retain the same value of the number multiplied it by 10 to the power of minus 4. So here the correct answer is option 1. Some children do not correctly indicate the exponent sign while doing so. They think that a to the power of minus n and a to the power of n are equal, like here. Rohit's understanding is that 10 to the power of minus 4 and 10 to the power of 4 are equal. But this is an incorrect understanding because 10 to the power of minus 4 means 0. 0.0001 and 10 to the power of 4 means 10000. That is, option 2 is also an incorrect answer. Note that a to the power of minus n and a to the power of n are not equal. For example, 8 to the power of minus 3 is equal to 1 by 8 into 8 into 8 which is equal to 1 by 512 whereas 8 to the power of 3 is equal to 8 into 8 into 8 which is equal to 512. Do you think the result is same in both the cases? No. Therefore, a to the power of minus n and a to the power of n are not equal. Misconception 2. The grain storage capacity of tank A is 3 lakh gram and the grain storage capacity of tank B is 2 lakh kg. Compare the storage capacity of both the tanks. Here, the storage capacity of tank A is 3 lakh gram and the storage capacity of tank B is 2 lakh kilogram. The storage capacity of both the tanks is to be compared. Some children see that the storage capacity of tank A is 3 lakh, that is, 3 into 10 to the power of 5, and the storage capacity of tank B is 2 lakh, which is 2 into 10 to the power of 5. The attention of the students does not go towards the units. Their focus is only on the number, like the number 3 into 10 to the power of 5 is greater than the number 2 into 10 to the power of 5. So, they think that the storage capacity of tank A is higher than the storage capacity of tank B. That's how they choose option 1, which is incorrect. We must focus on the units of the numbers. Here, the grain storage capacity of tank A is in grams and the grain storage capacity of tank B is in kg. Both the numbers must be in the same units for comparison. We know that 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams that is equal to 10 to the power of 3 grams. Hence, 2 into 10 to the power of 5 into 10 to the power of 3 is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of 8. That is, the storage capacity of tank B 
is 2 into 10 to the power of 8 grams, which is greater than 3 into 10 to the power of 5 grams. So the correct answer is option 2. Today we saw some misconceptions related to the standard form of numbers.